welcome guys to the third tutorial of android development for beginners and today we will talk about uh, like the last step we had created was like uh, some views in views but once we were clicking on the button and nothing was happening so today what i will show you is that how do you make that button work with writing your first ever code in java and this is not java this is called xml language so this is just for designing the layout but what we are going to do is implement a java logic so our button can work so what i have done is that i have changed a layout so i was telling you that linear layout has its own constraint that uh, that the the positioning of the view can be only from the, the vertical and horizontal and there is another easier way to position your views anywhere that you want not necessarily anywhere that you want but like more flexibility so that is called relative layout and I have just used the same button and I have used this property that brings the view into the parent, center of the parent so this is whole parent our relative like parent parent view or root view and this is bringing it into the center so what we will do is we will just go to main activity because this activity main is linked in here and we will initialize this button because we have taken a button view and we can name it button view so this is an object of button class now what we will do is button view button find view by id our id and we can give it an id button press me and we can just write it here now what is this this is an on create method that whenever your app runs this method gets triggered okay so this is the method that gets triggered once your app is running when it's launched and over there we are telling it that we have a view that is a button view and its id is this please initialize it and how do we implement a method on it that listens to click that you know right now when we were clicking on the app we don't know that what is happening who is clicking but there is a method that you can apply on this to listen to the clicks so you will be using this class view on click listener and this has a method that listens to the clicks on the view so what i'll do is i'll write a toast message and I'll toast it pressed so we know that it is being pressed and I will run the app and we'll see now that our button the clicks on our button the events on our button are being listened because we have attached a listener to it and if I go here to show you in developer same the documentation on click listener we can click on on click listener and we can see view dot on click listener is that we are implementing a li click listener that listens to the click on the views so this is this is what it is interface definition for a callback to be invoked when a view is clicked so that's what it is very simple and now if you click on press me so it should uh, I think because of the background maybe I'm not seeing it but let me just see yeah the color of this is like uh, something let's just change the background for now And let's see if we get a toast message so 
let's just wait and uh, wait for it to load. So for some reason we are not seeing it but I'll just fix it. So this is the log message that hopefully will log the value if we copy this so once we run our android app this shows us that what is like what are the events and if there is an error or something it shows us in this so let's just wait for the app to run and we can search here so app is running and I would just search for tag and once I click it it should so if you see this here this is showing us the message button is pressed so this is helping us to listen on the events of the button that whatever is being done to the button so what is this this is a log log uh, statement that helps us if there is an error then we can you know write this line to find out what is the error and it it is like being shown in here so this is the button view and now uh, like what we will do is we will do something else we will create an activity where we can press an activity and we can go to another page so we'll just create an empty activity and we can name it second activity and how do we know that we are on second activity so once we click on second activity this layout file is automatically generated we'll go in the first one just copy paste the same but here we will change the id take me to first activity and we can change the background if it to yellow sorry so now we have two activities since we are dealing with activity second so we will just come back in here we will again initialize it button button because it's a button class so find view by id and take me to first activity again set click on listener new view on click listener so intent class is used to start activity so it is taking a context from where are we going second activity dot this and where are we going we are going main activity dot class and I will copy the same and paste it here so what are we doing here is we are going from main activity to second activity and we can add a toast message going to second activity and in the second we can add so this is the java code that you have written very simple and easy going to first activity and the toast is coming from the second activity so that is the context and we will rerun our app so now we have created two pages for the app and in just a matter of three tutorials I have told you about views and how do you navigate between first and the second page and you can have as many as 
as many as many pages if you are using this intent so press me this is bringing you to the second activity this is bringing you to first activity I would just change the name to of the button so you know you can uh, understand it better go to first go to second and we can write go to first here so let's just wait for the review the preview on the Android emulator so let's this is the first one so it is taking us to second activity go to the first and we are coming back here so that's how you implement an on click nestler on your views you can do the same thing if you are doing the text view or image view so I want you to try that take an image view and implement a listener on it and do something like this so thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one